Dressed in signature green clothes, the JTF or Joint Task Force are the volunteers that are trying to save what is left of Manhattan during the green poison pandemic. To understand the situation they were in, we're rewinding the clock. We'll take a day by day look at how the green poison happened, how the JTF was formed and how they responded to the crisis. It's Black Friday, the start of a pandemic. The first day of the pandemic, people are already coming down with heavy flu-like symptoms. Most people are still going to work, but the hospitals are reaching their capacity. The police are deployed to guard the hospitals and prevent the panic from leading to chaos. But the first day was also the mildest and things quickly got worse. The second day will bring the chaos to a new level. As the citizens of Manhattan are realizing this flu isn't an ordinary cold, they are trying to leave the island of Manhattan. In an attempt to prevent the spreading of the virus, quarantine zones are established and transport is going into lockdown. As the bridges and tunnels close, the people of Manhattan are trapped on the island and the panic continues to get worse and worse. It's clear that the local hospitals and the New York Police Department or NYPD aren't up to the task of controlling the situation. The days after, it continued in a downward spiral. In addition to the NYPD, the National Guard, Army and the Marine Reserves are deployed by the Governor of New York to maintain control over the situation. They're combined into one faction, the JTF, the Joint Task Force. The solution was simple, quarantine all infected individuals in the center of the city to keep them away from the healthy citizens and to treat them more easily. In theory, this was simple, but practically it turned out to be a little bit harder. In the meantime, the CDC, or Center for Disease Control, and SARA, or Catastrophic Emergency Response Agency, are helping with the containment and are working on finding out what virus they're dealing with and how to create a cure for it. To contain the people in the middle of Manhattan, the JTF were working around the clock to put up the walls. The no-go zone, as it started out, later turned into the dark zone. In the meantime, other public authorities joined the JTF, like the crossing guards, the firefighters and the paramedics. The downward spiral was now spiraling out of control. The situation in the dark zone became worse than they could handle, with rioting citizens, active factions like the rioters and rikers taking the east side of the city, it was simply turning into a war zone. At the same time, the last man battalion was carving out their own territory, as well as the cleaners who controlled the northeastern parts of Manhattan. Through the fighting and the virus, the JTF lost a lot of people and resources, leaving them severely undermanned and under-equipped. Without anyone knowing why, out of the blue, these agents started to show up. They look like civilians, but they are equipped with military-grade equipment, including a signature orange watch and antenna on the backpack. They are sleeper agents, part of a secret governmental program for emergency situations. They are the Strategic Homeland Division. The first wave, as it was called, was deployed to assist containment efforts primarily in the dark zone. But even the division were no match for the aftermath of the virus. With all that occurring, the JTF was forced to abandon the quarantine zone and leave everything, all their equipment, weapons and vehicles behind. But it wasn't only equipment they were leaving behind. They abandoned the citizens and division agents assisting them. This betrayal was for many the last drop, including Aaron Keener. Under his leadership, agents started to go rogue and actively disrupting the JTF and division. The JTF and the remaining first wave agents were fighting a losing battle, constantly losing more ground and resources to the other factions until the division deployed a second wave of agents. Alongside the second wave, the JTF were able to rebuild their home base in the post office, the base of operations. First the medical wing was reinstated under the leadership of Dr. Jessica Kendall, who was rescued in an operation between the JTF and the second wave. The technological wing was reinstated under the command of Paul Rhodes, an engineer who previously worked for the LMB, but decided to put his knowledge to better use. Not long after, the security wing was reinstated when the JTF and the second wave rescued the now head of the JTF, Captain Roy Benitez. Under his command, the JTF fought besides the second wave agents against the remaining factions of the Rikers, Cleaners and LMB, and defeated their respective leaders, Larry Barrett, Joe Farrow, and finally, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss. The battle against the rogue agents was looking good as well, but Aaron Keener managed to escape in the end. Often, the JTF are looked down upon, 
Gameplay wise the JTF are definitely the weakest faction because they even struggle against low level rioters. The JTF don't have classes either meaning they can't counter any of the better equipped classes of the Rikers Cleaners and LMB. And this is probably why in so many places the JTF are killed in the most horrendous ways possible. Funny how people ask when all the rules break down. Predators, protectors, they start looking an awful lot alike. Hard to tell them apart, what do you think? To conclude the video, I want to say that story-wise, I like the JTF. Though they were not successful in their attempts to save Manhattan, most of the people working for the JTF sacrificed everything to help others. Of course, leaving people in the dark zone was a big mistake, but we don't know what happened exactly at that time. Perhaps they didn't have a choice at all. Gameplay-wise, yeah, they completely suck. Before ending the video, I want to know what you think of the JTF and their attempt to save Manhattan. Do you think they could have done better or do you think they did the best they can? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I'm leaving you. Peace out.